Hello everyone. Welcome back to another watching. Today we are going to take a first look, a glimpse. I say a glimpse because I am sad to see these go already of Sal Baltimore's newest project. Now, before we get to those, we'll do a quick wrist check. You'll see that I am wearing my Sal Baltimore Founder Edition. You guys know how much I love this watch. I don't know how many times it's appeared in the the watch of the day, the wrist shot, the you know, whatever you want to call it. When I make these videos, this watch has been on a ton. And I actually even sent this one to Andrew over at My Watch Addictions, um, fellow YouTuber. He also got to see these prototypes and already made a video. So I'm going to, in the, uh, in the uh, description below, I'm going to link to uh, Sal Baltimore's website. I'm going to link to the active Kickstarter. I'm going to link to my videos of the Founder Edition and Andrew's videos of the Founder Edition and these prototypes. So I knew that Andrew was working on something quite a while ago. Um, and I think these are flipping cool. Uh, he originally, you know, we, we all, we all play in the same forums and hang out in the same spaces. And, uh, I remember him starting to ask some questions, whether people would be interested in a diver watch. And I knew right then that I was going to be following it and I knew I was going to buy it because I love my founder edition so much. I'm going to pull this off really quick. I'm actually going to throw this one on wrist. This is the midnight blue. I'm going to throw this one on wrist and we'll actually probably talk more um, with me holding the green one. Now, the interesting thing was I was actually having a toss up between these two colors, the midnight blue and the green. And I will flat out tell you, there's something about this blue that absolutely draws me to it. Every time, if every time I pick up one of these watches, it's the blue. I can't explain it. It's, it's just the way it is. Although I do love this emerald green. Now, th these are super limited production. There's only going to be 800 and 46 total pieces there's going to be 423 pieces in this bronze which is a cu sn8 bronze oops and uh i don't know if there's a better way to say that but it is a cu sn8 bronze case or it's going to be a 316l stainless case now these have 120 click rotating bezels and that's a firm click this one here has well they all have a double domed sapphire glass or crystal sorry and this one has a sapphire bezel which i think is flipping cool now you can also get it with a bronze bezel and in the stainless you can get it with the stainless bezel the brush stainless bezel bezel um, i love this <laughs> i love this bezel on this one it looks so cool the loom looks insane on this uh, so sorry rambling a little bit because i'm super excited about these um, they're running a Miyota 9015 automatic movement, which is self-winding, obviously. It is hackable. It can be manually wound as well. They have, oops, we have a screw down crown up here at the two o'clock position that is logoed and has loom in that crown. I love this case design that uh this little you know I'm, I'm not sure what they call it this little outrigger here i would call a crown protector because it kind of 
pushes the case up and makes it so the crown's a little bit more protected. Um, they are a 43 millimeter case. It is 13.8 millimeters thick. The lug to lug on this one is 48 millimeters and it is a 22 millimeter distance there. You can see we have a display case back and these are going to be numbered. You can see it's of 423. It's 300 meter water resistant. And look how cool that is. I love what he what Alan did with the rotor on these. We've got the Torsk logo with the 423. That 423, I'm sorry, not sure if uh, how you would say it, but to me, that's the call number for the submarine. So these were, the inspiration for these come from the USS Torsk, which was a World War II sub. And that's where the name and the inspiration comes for a lot of the design. You see, we've got a little side plate there, SS-423. There's something about these that I cannot take my eyes off of. I was so excited, so excited that Alan actually sent them to me so I could take a quick look. I'm sad I have to send them back. Now, there's going to be four uh, dial co colors for the uh, bronze and four dial covers colors for the stainless. They all share the same color except for there's going to be midnight blue, sunray black, harbor gray, and then the bronze has this emerald green, which I really do like. The stainless has a Camden orange, which is also really, really cool. Um, I missed out on the super early bird special when I signed up for that. The super early bird special was $350. Uh, I think Andrew over at my watch addiction actually was able to snake one at the $350 range. I got the early bird on the bronze uh, for 375. Those are already sold out. The early bird for the stainless at 375, I believe is still available. Um, man, they're selling out quick though. Uh, as of when I'm making the video right now, I mean, the, the Kickstarter project was fully funded in about 40 minutes and that was a $75,000 goal. I think it's sitting about $172,000 right now on Kickstarter, which is awesome. I think it even kind of shocked Alan. I don't know if he was expecting that big of a reaction out of everyone that was wanting these. Um, but the bronze are going fast. The stainless, there's still some available. And the cool thing about Kickstarter and Alan over at Sal Baltimore, he has added some stretch goals. We've already hit one stretch goal, which means he's going to throw in a NATO strap. Um, there's going to be a couple others, which will add some dial colors, different loom and different bezel options. If it hits those goals, I can't say enough about this guys. I mean, it is so flipping cool now because these are the prototypes, there may be some subtle differences between these and the final what ships, but I think, um, those differences might be limited more towards the, uh, the straps and the buckles, but he's partnered with, uh, clockwork synergy. If that's right. I can't remember. Yeah. Clockwork synergy on some of the straps in the past, which is what this, this, uh, leather one was here. And I tell you what, originally I wasn't even contemplating the rubber strap after seeing these and and being able to put them on and play with them a little bit. I love this rubber strap. <laughs> so I, I, uh, I think I might actually go with the rubber on this one. I, it's super soft, very comfortable. I do really like this buckle. I think it's going to change a little bit. So we'll see how that comes out. Um, when I get mine, we'll see what the kind of what the differences were. The reason why I was super excited about the bronze is I love the fact that this is going to age and patina. I've already seen some guys talking about maybe trying to force the patina, which yeah, that might be pushing a little bit for me, but, 
But, you know, when you look at even that buckle, because these have been passed around to a few reviewers. Like I said, Andrew had them a little bit before me. You can see how, how the potential for that to age and change, which I think is so flipping cool. Um, I will say, you know, for dial colors, and you'll see, we'll, we'll take a look at the loom, but I really like the added white right there. And I love, I can't say it enough, this, this domed sapphire bezel. We're going to go dark really quick and take a look at the loom. Here we are in the dark. Now, you can see the one with the, uh, the sapphire bezel here. And the black and the blue are the only ones that have that added little bit of loom because of that dial choice. And I like it. The loom is uh, lit up right now a little bit, but let's go ahead and hit these with my, my black light. And you'll see why I really, really love that sapphire bezel. I mean, the loom's great on both of them, but oh man, is this loom cool check that out that bezel looks so flipping cool i am super excited for these i think alan has knocked it out of the park back in the light so what i was saying i think alan's knocked it out of the park with these um, i think the pricing's awesome the future price on these i believe is 650 so if you like them get in now the kickstarter is selling out quick i don't know if i even mentioned because i was too excited to talk about the watches it comes with a watch winder instead of just a standard watch box which if you're a crazy person like me you probably have 500 of them all over the place instead of a standard watch box it comes with a winder which i think is a really cool addition and it's something he's doing different than a lot of other people um I can't say enough about it. I, I'm super, super excited for the bronze. I know it's not everyone's style. Go to the site, go to Kickstarter, look at the stainless steel ones. I, I actually wanted one of each, but I have a bunch of other watches coming in right now and I can only spend so much money on watches. So let me know what you guys think of these ones in the comments below. Tell me which one of these you would pick. Would you go with the blue? The green, which that green looks awesome in the sunlight. Would you go with the uh, sapphire domed bezel or the bronze, the solid bronze bezel? I, I got to go for the sapphire. It looks so cool. This one, like I said, there's something about that blue that just calls to me every time I look at it. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. As always, guys, thanks for watching.